and I'm going to reach over and I'm going to touch this side of the shoulder. Even though I'm not, I'm not physically going to do it, when it, I'm going to project that. Hey everybody, this is Shelby. And Carmen that's out, she's nice and fresh. So as they're cantering around, I have my focus on two places at once. Here, I have a little bit driving on the haunches. And that's my leg if I was riding, or my crop if I was using a crop while I was riding. And then I have a little bit of focus on that shoulder, just to, just for a little bit of bend. Now you don't need both of those, but for me, see when she turns in, if I if I push her haunches when she turns in, this is what's going to happen. She's going to face up. Now if she turns in, we can go the other way here. If she turns in, that, that doesn't fix anything. So that's why I have a little bit of energy on the shoulder. Because if I go towards her shoulder, it pushes her back out. Good, so just a little bit. Ah, she started. So I have a little bit of energy on that shoulder. I should trot for a little bit here. She wants to canter though. But if I go towards that haunches, it, it gets her to bend in, right? So we want to go towards the shoulder to get her out. And this works in the riding too, but this is, um, we're not gonna go into that because I'll get distracted. And this is why I have just a little bit of energy on the shoulders. And this doesn't matter if you're working on a line, a long line, a short line, or in the round pin loose. Switch directions here. There you go, Mare. You're so good. Oh. So if I step out in front of her, she should come at, she should just face up so I can change directions. Now when she does that, so here I'm pushing on the hind, pushing on the hind. Now I'm gonna step out in front. All right, perfect. You're so good. So then I'm gonna see, let's let's experiment here. This might not work. So then I'm gonna take this whip. And I'm gonna reach over and I'm gonna touch this side of the shoulder. Even though I'm not I'm not physically gonna do it, when it, I'm going to project that. I don't know how else to put it, project it, imagine it. So I'm over here, so then my whip comes out here. And then I push that shoulder out on the circle. Then I can come back here and drive. All right. So I'll step out in front of her here. And then the whip comes over, pushes that shoulder, and then I can drive. So this works the same, whether it's online or uh, free lunging in a round pin, in a square pin, any free lunging, it works this way. That's what I typically do when I'm working with them, whether they're online or not. And it doesn't have to be a whip. It could be your hand, it can be your body language. Um, I want to get to the point where it's just a shift of weight in my feet. I'm just going to let her walk. And probably what's going to happen, she's going to face up and then she's going to decide to go roll. But um, we'll see. So I hope this helps a little bit and gives you an idea of what I'm looking for when I'm both lunging my horse on a line and free lunging. So take care and en enjoy your day, enjoy your lives, enjoy the ride, and enjoy your horses. Until next time.